scroll down to the next part, which was statement of the case. In this particular brief, the statement of the case will have two parts, two subparts. So we'll deal with that. Statement of the case is a main heading, so it gets level one. But preliminary statement is a level two. It's a subheading of the statement of the case. So I will assign level two. I didn't format level two yet, so I have to do it now. Right click, font, Times New Roman, regular, 12, black, and all caps. OK. I also would like it to be numbered. So again, right click, numbering, and I will pick Roman numerals. And now I have to make sure that the computer knows to format level two headings the same way every time I mark a text. Update heading two to match selection. And I can scroll down to the next part. And that's statement of the facts. I will highlight statement of the facts, add a text, level two. Keep scrolling through my through my brief, looking for the next heading. Summary of the argument. Summary of the argument is a level one. And then the next heading is going to be the argument. I will highlight argument, add text, level one. Now the argument part is the one that has two subheadings, which each has even more subheadings. So here I will just have to be a little more careful. But first part of the argument is right here. That is level two. I have already formatted level two, so it should know what to do. The one thing that it also did was it assigned it a number three, but it's really not a number three. It's a first subheading of the argument, except the computer thinks that it's just following from the previous section. So what I have to do, I have to click away to get rid of the highlighting of the actual heading, and I have to highlight the number three. Highlight number three, right click, and under numbering, here I have to pick set numbering value. And I want to start again from one, because I would like within the first subheading of the argument, the parts to be number one and two. Yes, and it will start with number one. The next heading is actually even a smaller heading. Now this is a level three. We didn't format level three yet, but we will now. So level three, right click, font, Times New Roman, regular, 12, black, underline. And I would also like it to be numbered, except this time around I will pick letters. And once again, I cannot forget to make sure that all headings that I will mark as level three will be formatted in the way that I just formatted this level three heading. So update heading three to match selection. And now I have to go through the rest of the document to find the other headings. Here is another one. That's level three. Here is another level three. Keep scrolling down. And another level three. And here I have a heading which is level two again. This is the second big part of the argument section. Level two shouldn't be no problem. And here I have level three again. 
I mark it as level 3, but I see that the computer assigned it the letter E. But again, just like a little earlier, I would like it to start with A. So I will just highlight the letter E, right click, numbering, set numbering value, and I'm telling the computer to start with A again. Yes, and it will start with A. Keep scrolling down. until I find the next subheading of this second section which is right here highlight level 3 scroll down level 3 And last one, level three. And now the last thing that I have to do is mark conclusion, which is back at level one. So now I have successfully finished going through the entire document and marking all of my headings, either level one, two, or three. So now the last thing to do is to insert the table of contents. Control Home is going to take me to the top of my document. I will scroll down to the area where I would like table of contents to appear, which is right here. I'll give it a little more room. And here I will say Insert Table of Contents. You see that I have various options here, but I want to go from the template that I have just created so insert table of contents and here is where I will have to spend a little bit time formatting so I want to show the page numbers I would like the page numbers to be right aligned I would like dots to be used as a tab leader and in modify is where I'm gonna have to make some changes because even the formatting of the actual table of contents should match the formatting of the entire brief and since we used Times New Roman the table of contents should also appear in Times New Roman so for heading 1 I see that right now it's set for Cumbria 12 well I would like it to be Times New Roman Times New Roman 12 automatic that's fine here I can I have a little bit of control over adding or decreasing the amount of space between individual lines okay heading two modify times new Roman 12 automatic and this time around I would like the font to be all caps you can see that this little format button is giving me more options within the table of contents clicking on font I have the full dialog for font okay again I can see how much space there is but I'll, I'll give it a little space okay and table the TOC 3 the level 3 headings modify Times New Roman 12 if I want I can have it underlined or I don't have it underlined or I can change other formatting again I can either decrease the amount of space between the headings or increase the amount of space between the headings and OK OK and now I can click OK and the table of contents will be inserted OK it's always good to have the table of contents fitting within one page so I see that OK now table of authority starts on page 2 because the computer already knows it issue presented starts on page one that is very good 
and it ends here and table of authorities is all the way down here. I can delete some of these spaces so it actually starts on the top. And now the last thing that I have to do is just to format the title for the table of contents. And that I will just do manually because table of contents wasn't one of the headings that would that should or would show in the actual table of content. But I know that all of my level one headings were Times New Roman, 16, they were all caps and they were all underlined and they were all in the middle, centered. So that concludes demo on formatting your brief to insert pagination and proper table of contents. Thank you.